Hey, welcome back, everyone. Uh, so hopefully the weird audio issue I was having last time is fixed now. I unplugged and replugged the microphone, and the levels sort of even themselves out. I did my best to fix it in post, and it didn't come out nearly as bad as it could have, but it was definitely noticeable that for whatever reason the audio was super blown out. So I did what I could to fix that, and hopefully it's resolved now. I think something was just weird with the mic plug-in that it just needed to be reset. What's going on? I also would like to know that, Ethan. Okay, these I was gonna say, why are there so many bodies here? But I'm like, actually, as I think about it, I'm like, I'm pretty sure these were here when I left uh, the mystery. Clearly, I didn't pay attention, because, like, looking out there, uh, <laughs> it looks like there's a giant factory over there. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, really, just one? I'm like, what else do I have to fucking do? It. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to go across that bridge. <laughs> God, these elevators are too goddamn long. I was sitting here like, oh god, I think I timed that right. I was like, I'll just wait to talk until it gets down. But I'm like, Jesus, the kids, they take forever. It'll be fine. I don't actually believe that, Eisenberg. Oh, so the elevator took me down here. Okay. Are you... Are you shitting me? That is a slow-ass elevator. I'm like, at first I was like, you know, it's probably a big way down or something. It's not. It just moves slow as shit. Alright, well, there's that. How many things do you think are going to attack me just as I cross this bridge? I'm waiting for those damn stupid mosquito bird things. Ah, Ethan Winters. Welcome. You knew I was coming. I didn't think you'd make it past Donner Moreau, but I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I like you. <laughs> I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. Normally when you start with the idea of it's not a trap, it becomes a trap. Also, sorry, I'm going to walk across your lawn because this feels like it's prime place for you to have stuck shit. Maybe not, though. I may just crawl across this for no reason. This also, these are like tanks and stuff. So it changed initially because we read that like pamphlet earlier, the guy that said like they fought a war here. I assume that was, like, crusade times they fought the war. But I'm guessing not if they have tanks, like, littered around here. Unless it was Heisenberg making them, but I'm not sure what he'd do with them. Are they gonna have the werewolves pilot it? I can't... Oh, no, I can. Oh, that door opens. Alright, well, what about these doors? They don't. Okay, that's the way to go. <laughs> Ethan. Dude, turn on a fucking light. Those areas get dark, you gotta be able to see. Man, I thought, like, his whole thing of let's meet would be like, Hey, I'll meet you, like, right up there at the facility. We can just meet up and talk and not the, hey, come in and just start wandering. Oh. What the hell? 
Mia? Truth hurts, don't you? <sighs> Let me guess. Your thing is take me out like the others, and then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I mean, that has been what's happening so far. Look, you, you, you got this all wrong. Tell me to Shut your fucking hole! Sorry about that. Are those the wolves? Take a seat. <laughs> Ethan. Listen. The man just opened a hatch where a whole bunch of things are growling and roaring, and you're gonna go stand right in front of it. I said sit. Lady, supersized bitch, ugly, a psycho doll, an emeronic freak. I feel like he was the real ugly one. It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain. Well, fuck that. I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just well, want to fix my daughter. I'm pretty sure his thing is <laughs> so that he doesn't want to die. <laughs> do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak, I swear to God. You and me, Ethan. Together, we can go save Rose, and then we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you! And I feel like we didn't have to jump straight to the fuck you. I feel like we could have made some sort of negotiation there. Last chance. You don't want to find out what's going on. Alright, li listen, don't. I'll take my chances. Don't listen to Ethan here. Damn it, Ethan. Shut the fuck up. Let me listen. handle this. Like, I feel like we could have just as easily been like, look at all the people we killed. I can take Miranda. Carl's the fucking Magneto of the Resident Evil fucking series. Pretty sure that with him and I together, we could have figured that out. Alright, how long are you going to stand there? Are you going to let him cut off your leg first, or are we going to go? Alright. <laughs> Why did that? Okay. A dead end. Well, it's not really a dead end. I wonder if that guy moves faster in like the harder difficulties, because I didn't feel him being on my ass like at all. <laughs> what was that thing? Well, whatever it was, I'm sure it's going to be a problem later, because they never introduce an enemy like that that you don't eventually have to blow up. I can hear things grumbling too, so I'm sure we're going to start a fight soon. <laughs> Game's got a lot more of those than the last one did. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Actually, hold on, guys. I may have an explosive for you. Why? Why couldn't you let that kill you? There we go. I missed more shots than I should have, but whatever. Kind of going back, though, to scripted, like, enemy encounters again. I mean, everything's been scripted up to this point. 
but I feel like there's a lot of them are just more extra bits of like you can go get collectibles and they'll show up there uh, versus like the they were actually a part of the missions. This place is messed up. I've got to get Holy upstairs. Holy shit! I mean, hopefully they're not going to throw anyone at me right away. I'm pretty sure. No. <laughs> I'll have to see it. Well, I'm pretty sure if I remember the achievement list, one of them is to, like, knock uh enemy down from that. So I didn't know if that meant, like, hit them while they're up there. Or if, like, they ride them, like, zip lines later or something. That or I'm just not close enough. Or the achievement thing that I read is wrong. and I, Or not wrong, but I misread it. <laughs> oh, hey, Duke. Your consistent patronage, I've expanded my service. So wait, can I... You can't use it. Okay, but it is an elevator. So I can use this with you. Welcome. Cool. This is all an investment. Good day, then. Sorry about that, Duke. I was having a brain fart as we talked. Alright. Well, we gotta pick up more money and more stuff to sell. I don't like how crowded this hall is. Feels like a place that Windmill Head might show up in again. Somebody else heard that roar, right? <laughs> Maybe I'm just hearing things. There we go. Oh, yep, no, there was a roar. He dead. Cool. Alright. Try not to fuck that up. I wanted to get that just in case we need it for later. I'm sure we will. Can I not close this door now? Oh, okay, whatever. It's not enough power. When is there ever enough power whenever you get anywhere? I want to know who in these games goes through and is like, you know what? Somebody eventually is going to have to start in this location. So we gotta make sure to needlessly move all this stuff around so that it's super inconvenient. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> yeah, of course he had to stumble into me too. Already reloaded, I can't again get this out of my face. Whatever. I don't think I can climb up and do anything, so I guess we'll just go through the door. I'm not holding on to anything that can be used, are we? No. Can't use it without a mold. Okay. Well, let's find a mold. Yeah, it may just be time to jump to the next room.
Got enough room there too, so it's not a huge problem. Okay. Don't like that. <laughs> that dude got a fucking chainsaw on his arm and we have to go in there too. Oh, that's a drill. It's not gonna be any more fun. <laughs> Okay. Alright, he's actually dead. <laughs> Although I'm sure we'll have to face one of those later. Four, right? Nah, yup, okay, never mind. They follow us in this game too. It's not just a you exit the room thing, is it? Yeah. Right, we're gonna bring him to the other room. Or no. Alright, here I was like, I'll bring him to the open room so it'll be more open, then realize this sniper really fucking hurts him. Glad I decided to do that before coming here. Maybe nothing? Maybe that's just a thing for me to look at? <laughs> Seems useful. Hey, horse thing, do you go on this? You do. We also don't get that back. That's a one time use. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you. Only put so many bullets into your head. And other places. What is... Oh, those are the... Oh, okay, thank God. I thought that was something like giant monster thing down there. Oh, it wants like a horse key. Okay. Down this way now? Uh, I seem to miss the fact that that thing would hurt me. I'm glad I stopped to look. Okay, he's dead. Get hit by it, please. Oh, I'm glad I turned. Uh, do you not have that metal thing on your head? That should get in the way. You should all be dead after that. Alright, I was going to say, if any single one of them tried to stand up after that just went down. Is that just the ones in front of me? It must have been. Is 
walking so fast, asshole. why it does that. <laughs> it's a long distance for Ethan to stretch his arm to grab that shit. Ah! Ow! I thought I made that, but fine. And hang on to the other rib then. Maybe make some more grenade launcher ammo instead. Oops, wrong button. Speaking of which, what am I missing? Gunpowder. Okay. Everything's locked from the other side in this game. Those are all panzers. <laughs> right, this brings us back here, which is good to know. That's also not super promising. Oh boy. Actually, hang on. I was thinking that wasn't promising because something could break through it. But if I learned anything from the Mestris, I can break through it. Hell yeah. Is that a key item that I just picked up? Oh no, it's not. I can combine it with something. That's good to know. Interesting. I hate him sometimes. <laughs> he just fucking misses. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna say so it's missing a cog. Okay. All right. So next step is to go get a cog. I've played enough Resident Evil, I get the patterns. You find something missing, you go push yourself through a room of assholes to go get it. There we go. Alright. sure of that. Nice. Oop, wrong thing. Good. Interesting.
Alright, so we got another mold, but I don't know where that's going to go to. Aw, oh, you fucker. I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> here, let's get that in here while we can. Hi. That down. I missed. Excuse me, gotta do this. Got caught on that. Do you mind? There we go. Put your arm down. Ah, fuck. And he's dead. And he explodes. I gotta remember that. <laughs> Back to green health, which is perfect. Oh, oh, just a large cog. Okay. Did he leave any gifts behind? No, he didn't. Rest of you stay there. Okay. I grew slightly terrified when he jumped back to it. I'm like, did he just... Am I going to get my hand cut off or something again? Oh, bitch. Oh, Ethan. Such a disappointment. I thought we could... Ow! Bitch for rent. Ow! Ow! I'm not dead? I'm still in green... What? Guy? Can you even understand that humiliation? I'm not like my siblings. I want nothing more. What? Than to free of that bitch. What happened to him? So I need power. I need enough power. There he is. These are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. You should have never refused me, Ethan. What a freak. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how the... I don't know how I lost him earlier. That was super bizarre. All right, uh, what was I doing? Sniper ammo? Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I don't, I shouldn't have lost them the way I did, but whatever, it worked for me. Oh, hey, you. Uh, fuck. Now let's do that again. The strategy's gonna stop working for me because I'm gonna run out of sniper ammo. And my constant missing doesn't help. <laughs> First time in a long time, I might actually have reason to ask Duke to give me sniper ammo. Really?
How many more you do I need to do that to until you fucking take the hint and leave me alone? He gave me a gift though, so I will let him go on that one. So this is a different side. Yeah. Really don't care for the flashbang rounds, but I'm sure they'll help. Sniper ammo is useful. Okay. Yeah, so we should get a gun out before that door opens, because you never know what's waiting for you. I want that. Oh wait, what's this? Okay. That's kind of concerning. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, I was not expecting that many of them to walk out at once. Of course that wouldn't be enough to kill you. Alright. I guess I'm glad this was the reason they gave me a mine though. I was more afraid that I was gonna walk in the turbine face again. Did that just straight up kill the other two? There's only one drop in. I mean, I guess not all of them when they die have to drop something. Empty panzer things are never a great sign. <laughs> but it's to be expected. I was expecting panzers to be more of like stronger type enemies. Which are certainly a bigger pain to fight off. But they definitely just seem more like they're going to be regular uh, enemies to have to deal with. Also, wait, is this not the... It's not. Can I wake you up? Yep. Break this open for me. We're only supposed to get one swing, you cheating bitch! Oh, he just beat me to death. Where am I? I thought we could join forces against that bitch, Miranda. Truly, truly disappointing. Oh, back here. Fuck, really? Awesome. <laughs> that dude goes crazy. He was swinging hard. I thought he might have been a stronger enemy at first. Well, at least we know why he was harder to beat. That was a lot of good shit sitting in here. Okay. I'll hang on to shit right now. I shouldn't just waste it all yet when I don't know what I need. Although I shouldn't call sniper ammo a waste right now. You suck. Does that man not have a chest thing? Because that's real unfortunate. Is that what these are for?
Here, come this way still. Alright, that worked. He must have been special. I think he's probably one you were supposed to outmaneuver, but we had enough explosives to make it work. I guess I also, if I move fast enough, could have just ran around this way on him. Oh, we're back here again. I was hoping that we're getting close to the end of this, but I just remembered that there was like three different fucking floors on the Duke's elevator. Oh, another one of you. Asshole. Trying to leave. Let's think about this one. Two mines will kill him. You come step on that. Thank you. You can have this one too. I don't really need it. Alright, the fact that two of them have showed up now makes me think I'm wrong. They're probably normal too, that you can kill normally. I just am not seeing the thing on him. That or this is more like tension thing, where it's like you're supposed to <laughs> use your knife, but... Uh, well. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm actually kind of glad he did it that way. Alright, well that's not gonna hold. Or... Oh, it did? I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think it was going to. I assume that getting hit by him is a one-hit kill, so I understand he's not around long, but he is in such short scripted bursts, it makes it very hard to feel like he's actually a threat. Hello, Duke. Thanks to your consistent patronage, I've expanded my services. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. Ooh, actually, before I talk to you, I just realized. Uh, Alright, nothing combines with that yet. Something in particular. Oh, what are we at time-wise? Oh, okay, we are over on time-wise, so actually, we'll stop there. Uh, we'll stop there, and we'll continue on next part. <laughs>